Good morning. Today, the 18th of May, happens to be the 100th anniversary of the birth in Poland of Karol Wojtyla, who in 1978 was elected as the Pope and took the name John Paul, John Paul II. It's Pope um, for 27 years, was it? Very long time. And um, so we give thanks today for his life, we give thanks for his faith, for his leadership of the church through those years. He knew what suffering was all about. He was brought up in very difficult circumstances and tragic loss of parents at an early age uh, and another and one of his siblings. But above all, he knew about suffering because of the situation that Poland lived, lived through for many, many years. He lived to see um, freedom come and was part of that, was part of the bringing of freedom through his powerful message of freedom in the name of, of Jesus Christ, who brings us freedom and who, above all, shows us that God is merciful and just. It's the heart of John Paul II's teaching, the mercy of God, the justice of God. As we've heard, in fact, um, our present Holy Father, Francis, say this morning in his Mass from Rome, which he's celebrated over the, the tomb of John Paul II. I mention this because we too are called to, uh, as Jesus tells us in the Gospel, to be witnesses to the truth. We too uh, often are in difficult circumstances. And we're going through difficult circumstances at the moment in a very different way from those that John Paul II lived through, but we're facing the challenges of, of the world today. But today, the Spirit is with us too, the Advocate Spirit speaking through us, within us, speaking the truth that comes from God, the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So we ask that God will help us to live that gospel today. Whatever challenges we face, may God encourage us through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. We pray for that gift. The Spirit of God will rest upon us, upon all people, especially those who are most in need of God's love and mercy today.